Hi everyone, welcome to Sports Broadcasting Center. Along with Nicholas Bayer and Arn Kavagian, I'm Declan Day. Mike Trout has played in just one playoff series in his remarkable 10-year big league career, and that was eight years ago. But this might be the year Trout and reigning American League MVP Shohei Otani make a run in October for the Los Angeles Angels. Trout, a three-time MVP, is putting up historic numbers, and Otani continues to impress at the plate and on the mound. Earlier this season, Otani hit his 100th career home run, becoming just the second player in MLB history with at least 100 homers as a batter and 250 strikeouts as a pitcher. The other player was Babe Ruth. The Memphis Grizzlies might be a small market team, but they plan to do whatever it takes to keep John Morant in the fold, as they should. The NBA All-Star and Most Improved Player in 2022 is eligible for a five-year maximum contract extension. Grizzlies general manager Zach Kleiman says he intends to keep the team's core in place as well as making sure that Morant stays in Memphis for a while. Morant ranks ninth among players in the league merchandise sales this season and led the team to its highest playoff seating ever at number two in the Western Conference before being eliminated by the eventual champs Golden State Warriors. <coughs> The college football season is fast approaching, but the Southeastern Conference, or the SEC, is looking ahead to the 2025 season, when Oklahoma and Texas join the SEC, making a, a new 16-team super conference. The SEC has a goal of every school in football visiting each of the other 15 schools at least once every four years. Elsewhere, the Big Ten plans to reshape its future scheduling, alignment, and championship arrangement, beginning with the 2023 season. The Big Ten is discussing elimination of divisions and staging a football title game between the top two teams in the 14-team conference. NBC's Sunday Night Football, the number one show on television for 11 straight years, has named the first female lead host of Football Night in America. Maria Taylor debuted on the studio show last year as co-host with Mike Tirico, but will take over this season with Tirico moving into the booth to handle play-by-play. Taylor joined NBC Sports last year after failing to agree to a contract with ESPN. The NFL kicks off the 2022 season on NBC September 8th when the defending Super Bowl champion Los Angeles Rams host the Buffalo Bills. We are just months away from the World Cup in Qatar. Qatar. The United States men's national team will be back on the global stage after missing out the 2018 World Cup in Russia. The U.S. faces England in its opening match with the two nations having formed quite a rivalry over the years. In 1950, the United States pulled off one of the greatest upsets in World Cup history, winning 1-0 over the heavily favored Brits. Only four Americans returned from the 2018 team, including Chelsea star forward Christian Pulisic. This will be the 11th time the U.S. men's national team has qualified for the World Cup, with its best finish coming all the way back in 1930, having reached the semifinals. Well, that's it for a busy day in sports. For my co-anchors, Nicholas Barron and Arne Kvakian, I'm Declan Ney. Thanks for watching Sports Broadcasting Center.